back here at the San Diego airport and we're heading on another snowboarding adventure. So we checked our bags and uh, we're sitting at the gate now. Flight departs in about an hour, so just hanging out, enjoying some coffee. I probably mentioned earlier that I'm flying Southwest. Um, yeah, we always fly Southwest here out of San Diego just because we have Southwest Companion Pass and also Southwest flies like 70 or 75 or 80% of the flights out of San Diego here. So that's why we often fly Southwest and I like Southwest. It's easy, two free checked bags, especially when we're going snowboarding as well. You don't have to worry about paying for extra bags and things like that. I don't have airline status. I think airline status is completely overrated. Excited to see the uh, the ruins of the Denver Airport, the ancient ruins of Denver Airport. Maybe it's just me, but like, I think these ancient ruins are always really funny. The new terminal here at uh, the Denver Airport is really nice. So the plan is to go grab our snowboards, and then we're taking the Epic Shuttle to Vail, similar to what we did last time. So we got our snowboards, they're right here. Tiffany's refilling the water bottle and then, uh, then we're gonna head to our shuttle. We're a little early. Shuttle's just not until six o'clock and right now it's 5.20. I'm not a fan of the shuttle it takes so long. You already flew here and then you gotta take a shuttle that's two and a half, two hours. This is fancy. We got upgraded to a suite. Let's get the lights on and uh, I'll give you a room tour. So when you walk in the front door here, you're in this kind of like this foyer, I think that's the correct term, where there's like the nice little table here that the camera's on right now. And there's this closet. You can hang all your coats and stuff like that in here. It's also safe down there as well. And then from there, you walk into the living room. And there's like this nice couch here that you can sit down on. There's a coffee table, there's another chair there. And then the camera's sitting on top of a credenza. I don't know the terms for any of this, but uh, there's a coffee machine and then they left two water bottles over there as well. There's a TV to the left with another like TV stand sort of thing underneath for some storage stuff. So very cozy living room, I guess. Oh yeah, there's also a uh, mini fridge in here as well. There's nothing in it. Coming from the living room, you walk into the bedroom. There's like this seating area over here. And then this balcony opens up. It's kind of dark right now. I'll show you what it looks like in the morning. And then uh, obviously the bed is right here. And there's this really long dresser, also desk area to work as well. And that takes us into the bathroom over here. So that's a quick room tour. And again, I booked this as a standard room. I spent 35,000 points per night. So 105,000 points total for three nights. 
and uh, they upgraded us to this suite, which is very nice of them because I have global status and it was a complimentary upgrade. This typically doesn't happen. This is pretty rare, um, but, uh, but yeah. Sure, we're gonna call it a night and then tomorrow we're gonna wake up, get ready to go snowboarding. First thing we're gonna do this morning is go down and get some breakfast. So the benefit of being high globalist is that you get complimentary breakfast. I heard it's pretty good. We'll see. I mean, like, even if you don't have high globalist, you don't really have any other breakfast options in this area. We just got seated, looking at the menu here. Seems like it's pretty standard, like parfaits, fruit plates, steel cut oats, omelets. I think what's pretty unique here is the carnitas benedicts, right? House carnitas and uh, there's also elk sausage too. I think I'm gonna go for the carnitas benedict. Try that. I think there's a little like buffet thing over there. Should I go check it out? All right, let's go. So it's one or the other. You can go off the menu or the buffet. The buffet is pretty comprehensive. It's almost like almost everything that's on the menu is over at the buffet. Maybe in not like a nicer form. I guess not plated nicely. Let's test the orange juice to see if this is uh, Minimade or homemade. Oh, it smells like Minimade already. It's like Minimade. It's gonna be like Minimade, like Sunny D. Not bad. A little salty, but. Breakfast was surprisingly pretty good. Yeah, service was good, the food was good. So looking forward to breakfast for the next couple days. Way better than the Hyatt centric at Park City. If you wanna go check out that video, I'll link it somewhere up here down in the description. But now we're gonna get ready for snowboarding. So we're headed down to the second floor to Ski Valley or out to the lift. We're gonna pass by Ski Valley. give you an idea of how close the lift is to the hotel, let me show you. See, look how close the, uh, the lift is to the Grand Hyatt. It's literally right next to it. Get some stretches in. So this lift downloads and uploads, and so you can take it up. You can also take it down, and it drops you right off at the Grand Hyatt. So the Grand Hyatt's right there, and the lift ends right there. So they just give you stickers for the ski valet and just leave it out in the rack and they'll bring it in at night. Assuming that's what happens. Kind of similar to how the Hyatt Centric at the Park City is like. Not nearly as fancy or full service as the uh, Park High Beaver Creek. So the plan is we're gonna get out of our snow gear here, freshen up, and then uh, we're gonna head to the main part of Vale for some late lunch, early dinner. Tiffany made reservations at a restaurant. It's like a party bus. The Grand Hyatt Vale has a free shuttle, which we're on right now, that stops at the front desk every 15 to 20 minutes, and it takes you to Lion Head as well as Vale Village as well. And I think it runs until like 10 p.m. Wow, another <laughs> Kimosabe. Do you need your hat stamped? As you can see, we're at another uh, Kimosabe. 
Tiffany's looking at these stamps to maybe potentially stamp one of our hats. Out of all the villages we've been to here in the U.S., this one feels the most kind of European. Well, this is interesting. We're in a uh, gondola having dinner in a gondola. <laughs> so it's the private gondola dinner experience and there's a gondola menu and it's, so it's a, it's a fixed menu. Um, it comes with appetizer, ooh, fresh baked German pretzel, uh, raclette grill and fondue combo and there's beef and there's shrimp and there's brats. You can add on extra sides as well. Price is $59 per person. Well, that was a fun experience. $59 not including tip per person. Yeah. Today's our second full day here. And I'm gonna go downstairs, grab some breakfast, and uh, do some snowboarding today again. We have a much nicer view for breakfast today. We're sitting by the window. Think I'm gonna do the buffet? Maybe. Every day, it seems like the, the buffet changes a little bit. Yesterday they had uh, French toast, today they have pancakes. The biscuit and gravy is new. And I think the buffet is, what, $40? It's a pretty expensive up there. Good thing it's complimentary for us for global status. Oh. Yeah. That's probably the last of the uh, snowboarding this season. We're just gonna walk it up the hill back up to the uh, Grand Hyatt. After some snowboarding, we had lunch at Makoto, which is the new Japanese restaurant that's open in the lobby at the Grand Hyatt Vale. Kind of cool that they have a uh, guest laundry here. And there's complimentary Tide Pods. These are free as well. There's no way to pay for them, so I'm assuming they're free, which is really nice. There's four of them, four washer and dryers that are stacked here. After exploring the lobby for a little bit and checking out some of the amenities, we hopped back on the shuttle and headed back over to Vale Village. I'm gonna go 
we had some uh, dinner at Sweet Basil. We put our name down at Sweet Basil and uh, they called our name, so that's where we're headed. So that was a good dinner. Uh, we got back and then we're getting ready to go to bed. But the problem is it might be in for an adventure tomorrow because uh, snow is supposed to be moving in tonight and we're supposed to be taking the Epic Shuttle. There's supposed to be like two feet of snow that's coming through. So we'll see if we actually make it to uh, to the Denver airport for our flight. I booked the backup flight on Southwest. Southwest is a flexibility. Um, it's that uh, you can cancel the ticket and uh, there's no cancellation fee and you get the points back or you get uh, a flight credit. So I booked the backup ticket just in case we don't make our flight because of the snow and the traffic and stuff like that. So yeah, stick around and see if we make it to Denver in time for our flight tomorrow. Oh man. It's a lot of snow. And it's still snowing. Epic shuttle hasn't canceled yet. Their first shuttle's at 6 a.m. Guess we'll find out what happens. So, so far, it seems like our Epic shuttle is on time and it's on its way to pick us up. Well, I guess it's like four minutes late picking us up, but should be okay. Should get to the airport. That wasn't too bad. It took us about uh, two and a half hours. We left at nine and got to the airport here at 11.27. back at our car here in San Diego. I think this is where I will end this video. So remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below the usual stuff. Let me know what you think about this vlog. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Tiffany says bye. bye.